Good evening guys, how are we? Back out again, back out in a bottle dig, back out where the guys are coming next Sunday and uh, we're in a little channel here, I've dug down, I'm about three and a half feet, probably four feet and uh, we're just going to have a sign and have a look and see if we can get any bottles There's plenty of signs of pottery and things in here, bits of stoneware and things like that so I'm just going to give it a go and I'll get back to you guys in the first hit Right guys, I'm properly in a wee trench now, I'm kind of digging down, digging down and here looks like a wee stoneware. I'm just going to get my gloves on and I'm going to try and get them out. Plenty of pottery coming out here again. So hopefully the boys will come through next Sunday. I think you're going to be in for a treat. I think there'll be a few nice bottles coming out. So if you give me a wee second, I'm just going to dig this out and I'll get back to you. This one's just come out. Look at that little stoneware. It's dried off. Tony was having a little look at it there. That's a lovely little stoneware. We think it might be for ink. If any of you guys know what it is, I don't know. This also came out and it looks like a wee milk jug off of like a kiddies. Maybe like a Victorian playset or something like that, an old milk jug. So guys, just dug this one out. Yeah, that's what you want in it, a little stoneware. There you go, nice little stoneware's come out. That's lovely. Listen to that, there's still something in it. Could be a cork in that still. That's nice, I like them. Had a few of these before, but the one that got me was this one that just came out. Oh, nearly fell there. <laughs> and this was last week's ginger beer bottle, and this is this week's. <laughs> so it just shows that they're in there. So you guys are coming on uh, Sunday. Hope you're looking forward to it. Look at that, that would have been absolutely lovely. Something to our fruit juices. Shame it's broken. But yeah, it's a lovely little bottle. Just before that, I did get this lovely little bottle. And it's a nice Bovril bottle, another one of them, that's the third one that's come out. I just thought we'd hit this a couple of times to get a trench done. And uh, what we're going to do is when the guys come along here, we're going to space them out. <coughs> and uh, let them dig individual trenches because this is quite a wide scale bottle dump. So I'm digging a little trench, it's just a little test hole to see what's here. And uh, hopefully we'll get some nice bottles. Check this little beauty that's just come out. Wow, check the size of it. <laughs> And uh, just great in size, it's a little, looks like it says Courtney's bottle. If any of you guys know what that is, Courtney's, never seen one of them before. I'm assuming it might be something nice, but that's a nice little Courtney's bottle. Just dug that, that came out as a little clear bottle. I then went on to dig another one, where are we, here it's here, and that was another clear bottle as well. Nothing too great after that, in fact I did get this little one here. And then I got this, and then I'm going to try and find the other one that I got. And I got a nice embossed bottle as well. Look at that. And it says on it, Scott's Emulsion. No idea where that was. I'm assuming it must be like a chemist bottle or something like that. Or some kind of, something like milk or magnesia or something like that. But that's nice, another nice little embossed bottle. Guys, this is some of the pottery Tony's digging out. Look at the loop on that. That would have been lovely. We also get this, and I want to show you this because this is kind of not where we are, but it's close to where we are. Uh, ah, there, look at that. James Harvey Grocers Merchants stood Toker. God, I wonder if any of the old school bankies remember that. Must have been a shop, maybe. Any of you guys remember that? Any of the old school bankies? James Harvey, Grocer Spirit Merchants to Toka. We go we're in here this is what happened first this came out it was part of a stoneware again sort of similar to the one that i've already got over here if you take a look at it similar in color i would probably say they're just maybe a slightly bigger size than that one i got and in here just check this big beauty out oh, hopefully that's going to be whole so i'm going to dig that and uh, hopefully it'll be whole i'm just going to have to be careful get my gloves on there looks to be signs of another bottle here as well and uh, we'll see what bottles come out here Check this little beauty out. Ah, oh, that's the kind of, I've never had one of these before. A well chuffed bits here. Check that out, a kind of glazed pottery. I don't know what would have been in that cream or something, maybe. Wow, that is absolutely stunning. Woohoo! 
that was worth coming out for alone today. Another bottle up above it, by the way, was looks like a glass and it was smashed. Uh, Tony then dug this big long neck bottle, nothing on it, but it's still a lovely little bottle. Don't do my trench, let's just jump in. <laughs> there you go, you can see us right up to my legs. Tony's the only check size of this wee one. Tony's got is absolutely teeny about this size. <laughs> That's a cracker, well done. Right guys, I just dug this one out and as you can see, it's a little Bovril Limited bottle. See, this is good because I've got a wee trace so I can duck in when it gets windy. I then went on to dig these two clear ones out. Not a lot on them, just a clear one. And this one here. Look at this, okay, but see if it's smashed because it's lovely design. Ah, that's a little cracker. I'm pretty gutted that smashed because I'd have kept that. If it wasn't smashed, it looks like a perfume bottle or something like that. Right guys, I'm going to call it a day for this video. Good luck, happy hunting. And, uh, and I'm going to split it into two parts and I'll catch you guys in part two. So I'll see you guys in part two. Bye for now.